Bills on Chuck. <laughs> to the highlight. Why are we showing the highlight reel of the beatdown? Because folks are tuning in, want to get the story of the entire night in the NBA. Hey man, no, it was KD. a bad night for the NBA. Devin Booker was on one. Mm. Gets to his spot, knocks that down. Yeah, like I said at halftime, when this kid is gone, he's definitely hard to stop, especially coming off that pick and roll and you don't step up as a big man. Kept 16 in the first quarter. Josh, Smile. Oh, oh, he meant that. Oh. My boy Damian Fish back happy right now. Boy, he got baptized. Woo -hoo. Man, he needs some of that green grease. <laughs> <laughs> Booker again. He, hit, he actually hit the rim with that one. What do you need, Chuck? Some of that green grease. How about, hey, how about that feed by LeBron? You know that yeah. that was a hell of a pass. I don't think I've seen the pass like that. So let me let me properly. Oh! <laughs> let me properly address that yeah, pass. You need to put some Chuck on it. Yes. Oh, AD, who had 18, but it was that Phoenix backcourt, man, Booker and Beal. This was embarrassing, man, for the Lakers. You know what I would do if I was Rob, Rob Palenka? What would, what you, would you do? I said, if you guys don't make the playoffs, I'm taking that damn in-season battle championship. <laughs> I'm taking it down. That'll show it down. That'll show them. If you guys don't make the play in on the playoffs, I'm taking that damn pre-banner down. How about Bradley Beal? Game up. Season high, 37. Man, 8 for 10 from 3? Yep. Yeah. And uh, he Did and not Booker, watch the game? He and no. Booker combined no, I mean, Why would I watch that game? Points. I wasn't watching that much either. What were you watching? Then? What were you watching? If you were uh, well, lowering well, all well, the special victims Once it got, got up 20 on it. My girl, Mariska Hargitay <laughs> and Elliot's. What was you watching? Uh, law, uh, yeah. law and Order Special <laughs> Victims. Law, not Law. Law and Order Special L -A -W, Victims. L-A-W, not L-A-R. Law and Order. Law and order. <laughs> law and order, Thank fool. You. Yeah. Thank you. Special yeah. victims unit, though, not just regular law and order. Got it. So if you're a Phoenix fan, you encouraged by what you saw from Bradley Beal tonight. Uh, you know, I still think they, uh, you know, I'm not going to overact them beating the Lakers. The Lakers stink. Um, but they played well tonight. I still think they need to figure out, you know, this is the same team that lost about 30 last game. So uh, I don't have, I don't go up and down like a yo-yo. Uh, I still think they need a point guard and another big guy coming off the bench because the Clippers and the Nuggets have separated themselves in the West, in my opinion. How about Minnesota? Uh, you know, I don't you're, believe... You're still not sold on I'm Minnesota. still not sold on Minnesota. I'm sold on Anthony, but not Minnesota. Uh, but I still think uh, the Nuggets and the Clippers are the two teams to beat in the West. That's just my personal opinion. The wild card... It's the Pelicans. Yep. Uh, they are, they are when Zion, Zion is, look, he looked to me like he's in better shape. And they got three all-stars. They got a deep bench. But the Clippers and the Nuggets, in my opinion, are the two best teams in the West. You're going to see Minnesota next week, uh, by the way. Who are they playing? Next, uh, they, uh, they host the Memphis Grizzlies. Oh, man, I feel so bad for Coach Jenkins, man. I like him a lot. But, man, with no jaw. Marcus no, Smart out now and for a no, while. Don't forget Brandon Clark and, yeah. and, and Stephen Adams. So I'll, uh, I feel bad. That's a, because Coach, Coach Jenkins is a hell of a coach. What was your biggest takeaway from this game, from this blowout 127-109? It concerns me that those guys take heavy volume shots. You know, with a big three, I would like to see better ball movement. And listen, we've seen a lot of big threes play. I think if they come in with the super unselfish mentality, better shot, right? Like better shot. Like, you know, any shot for a guy like Devin Booker is a good shot, but let's better shot. Keep everybody involved because, you know, uh, him 31, Bill 37, and Kevin Durant 12, I don't like that. I'd rather see all three guys get 20 on a consistent basis. And, you know, they got to you know, move the ball. Like a lot of dribbling, a lot of one on one. And, you know, Chuck alluded to this earlier. When the shot is going, it looks good. But what about when the shot's not going? I think if you have better ball movement and guys getting an equal amount of shots, I think they could become more dangerous. So but that big Ernie, three combining for 86 in Ernie, this game. What? I'd be curious to ask Kenny and Shaq. This would be the place to do it. I mean, <laughs> no, I mean, like, man, the Lakers is in trouble. The Lakers in serious trouble. I was going to ask your <laughs> level of concern. Go ahead, Kenny. For, for I'll let you answer. Nope, 19, they're not. 19 and 20 now. They're, I said this the same time. I think we were three games. Same, I feel six. like I'm having the same conversation I had last year this time. And they made a couple of moves, obviously, through trade. But the Lakers don't play with the same vigor in the regular seasons as they do in March 
in April. They wait and think they could turn it on, just like they said, oh, we could turn it on and win the, the end season tournament. They did. They, they believe that they could do that. I don't think LeBron James plays with the same – I don't think at this stage he could even – stay with the same mental fortitude for 82 games that a guy is in his third year in the league or fourth year in the league is trying to do or to what he's trying to accomplish. LeBron says, get me to the playoffs. Once I get there, you can't beat me in seven. That's what he says. Roll the dice. There's we won't beat me in seven. There are three games. Like, you know, we always, we always talk about the playoff start today. There are three games out of seven spots. If I was them, I'd be going for that Oklahoma City uh, first-round matchup because I think they match up well with them. And like Kenny said, when they turn it on, they feel like they can beat him, but I think that would be the best match. So you don't want to play the Nuggets. You don't want to play the Kipper. So, again, right now they're number nine. That's I don't think they can beat the Wolves. That's three games out of number seven. I don't think they can beat the Wolves. What, what, what worries me about the Lakers, Le LeBron and A.B. are actually playing good. We thought that all those players they bought in on the trade deadline last year and all those players they signed over the summer, they're playing awful. That's what concerns me about the Lakers. Like, LeBron's doing his thing. AD's been playing great, and they're still losing. And you got to say to yourself, man, them young guys on the bench, we were, we're worried about old LeBron, the young guys sticking up the joint. 